In this video, I will show you how I install the electrics and data cables into the office. Before going ahead with the electrics, I discussed everything with a fully qualified electrician to work out what I would do and what he would need to do. The biggest task was the laying of the armoured cable from the house to the office itself. This required a trench to cross from the edge of the garden to the building itself. This needed to be 600mm deep and I elected to use a large conduit pipe to facilitate both the electrical and data lines with the ability to run anything else I want in the future. For data, I ran an armoured 8 core fibre optic cable. For many of you, this will be massive overkill but it gave me the options I needed with the redundancy and future proofing built in with the benefit of not having to worry about interference from the electrical supply. Our electrical supply comes up into our house under the stairs, so I needed to run the cable under the floor to that area. Thankfully our house has a suspended timber floor with a big void which made this relatively easy, though there were a few tight squeezes under the downstairs toilet. Using pulling rods and string or rope for this job is a real must. The data cable helpfully came with a special pulling end which made things much easier. To get string through a conduit or pipe, you can use a vacuum cleaner to blow or suck it through and use a plastic bag to create a better seal and pull the string along through the pipe itself. Once the cable is at the office, you'll need to bring it up into the building for fixing. Make sure you leave a good length of cable for the electrician to work with at either end. Next, when the electrician came, I wrote up a basic plan for him to show where I wanted everything. Then I was able to let him just get on with the job in hand. The supply he installed is actually completely separate from the house supply, which is great if the house trips, as the office retains its power. The fibre optics are terminated at each end in a termination box to keep things nice and neat. The cables came pre-terminated so were very easily fitted into place by just clicking into the connectors. I then installed the internal data cabling myself, first marking out where I wanted all the connection points and the home point to be. I ran CAT6 cabling, make sure to buy copper and not CCA or copper coated aluminium as copper is much higher quality and much more resilient. To fit the cabling I just use simple cable clips. In hindsight it may be better to run a conduit so a cable can be swapped out easily in the event of damage. But I always run at least two cables to any one point to ensure redundancy. Following the plasterboarding and painting, which I'll cover separately, I installed the surface trunking that houses the data and the power sockets. This gives us a lot of flexibility in the future if we ever want to move or add additional sockets.
I also had a recessed box in the ceiling for the Wi-Fi access point, which will be powered over the Ethernet itself. The final stage was to fit the light fittings ready for the final connection for the electrician. I will explain more about the lighting configuration in the second video covering the rest of the electricals. Thanks again for watching this video. If you find it useful, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, feel free to tell me in the comments and ask me any questions you have. And if you want to get updates, do subscribe and click the bell.